Good morning. Happy Thursday. That explains a lot, doesn't it? <laughs> For anybody who ever worked in law enforcement at a hospital, maybe even teachers, places where you have a lot of people, you probably know that the full moon has a lot to do with the craziness in this world. Yeah, it brings out all the kooks. That makes a lot of sense about all that happened yesterday. I told you all that yesterday to make you laugh. Never feel like I tell you these things for pity or anything like that. Because I gotta put my head down because I mean, I am walking past their house, but his blind is up. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to. And surprise, <laughs> I'm here in your yard. <laughs> I mean, they know I walk in their yard and they thankfully allow me to walk in their yard. I've told y'all all this before. I mean, it's just nice to be able to walk on this little path in the mornings and even last night I did it because by the time I got all the tea cleaned up it was already getting dark so I just walked down here uh it doesn't matter anyway I'm just thankful that I get to walk around in somebody else's yard oh my goodness because the dogs up the street I can't just go around the block anymore like I used to could because one of those dogs is, he seems very aggressive and he can jump the fence. He puts his front feet on the top of the fence and then he leaps and his back legs hit about the middle of the fence and then he propels himself over the fence. I've seen it. He didn't make it all the way over because I started yelling at him. I was on the phone with Trina, and all of a sudden I just started yelling. She was like, girl, who are you yelling at? I said, well, the dog, the dog. Cause at the time I had both dogs and you can't pick up both dogs, you know? And <laughs> so I did, I, I brought my jail voice out and I yelled. I said, you get down. <laughs> Trina said, I think that turned me on a little bit. <laughs> I was like, well, yeah. Yeah, oh well, yeah. This is the prettiest scarf. I don't know if you can really see it the way I have it bundled up. Isn't that pretty? Don't ask me where I got it. Y'all, when I worked at the sheriff's office, everybody exchanged gifts. Everybody everybody i mean not like the whole department with each other but everybody in the warrant division exchanged gifts when i went to admin everybody exchanged gifts and they weren't big gifts but it was a lot you know <laughs> it was just a lot and we tried that white elephant and things like that ornament ornament exchange but people still bought you something. So then you were just buying an extra something. All I'm saying is a lot of this stuff comes from all of that. Because if it's nice, I'm, I don't get rid of it. Are you kidding me? That's why I have so many scarves and gloves. That's a common Christmas present. And toboggans, also known as hats, knit caps whatever we're not gonna go through all that again <laughs> of what they're called where so today <clears throat> excuse me today <laughs> is the anniversary the 11th anniversary of my dad falling up the stairs and breaking his leg he said last night do you remember what happened 11 years ago tomorrow I don't remember what happened one year ago tomorrow. I, don't, I mean, I remember a lot of details of things that have happened in my life. Not so much the date. But then I was like, oh yeah, that's when you fell up the stairs. Because <laughs> I remember it being right before New Year's, right after Christmas. 
I mean, thankfully it was right after Christmas instead right before Christmas. That was a long journey, man, because he's a big man. He's a big man. And it was me and my mom trying to get him up out of his recliner, which is pretty much where he slept because we couldn't get him up the stairs until his lodge brought over a hospital bed. And we put it in the middle of the living room because he, uh, he couldn't get up the stairs. He didn't have the strength to use the crutches to get up the stairs. Anyway, it was a mess. I, but, I, but that story is funny. It's just funny about me on the iPad. Him breaking his legs, not the funny part. That's, you know, you sometimes have to pick out the funny part of stories and just laugh. Just allow yourself to laugh. That's my goal in life, is to make people laugh. Let me go pick up some poop, okay? Okay. Oh, these gum gloves. Hello, mates. It's the end of the day. I'm off work. Praise the Lord and hallelujah. Ooh, can't see. Ooh. It was a joyous day, just a joyous day at the office. I was mostly by myself, except for That lady was driving just like this. <laughs> Look down. <laughs> Look down. You cannot see what's in front of you when you're looking up. Stop it. Anyway, my boss came by with her with her sweet pop cocoa. And I got sweet cocoa kisses all over my cheek. <laughs> She's a teeny tiny Maltese. Sweetest baby in the whole wide world except when it comes to Penny. They don't like each other at all. What else is new, right? And, uh, let's see, and then Ryan came by. And, yeah, otherwise, I was by myself all day. They didn't stay that long. So it was quiet, and sometimes I listened to music, and sometimes I had a Netflix show playing. I mean, I was working but I was listening to it because the total silence kind of bothers me. You know, get lost in my own thoughts if it's too quiet. Heaven forbid that happen. It's a scary place in there. I think I just spit. You know, I worked for a man one time. His name was Danny. And I was introducing him to my mother. <laughs> he was my lieutenant. And I said something and a little bit of spittle flew from my mouth and he said, you know what? You'd be okay if you didn't spit. <laughs> My mother never forgot that. <laughs> never forgot that. And then I was reminded today, well, it's not like I could forget it, but they were talking about on one of my posts on Facebook, my other Facebook page, that they would pick me up and put me in the sock barrel. Now, the sock barrel, as you can imagine, is a barrel or one of those huge laundry buggies. <laughs> There's that word again. It was a buggy. It was a big canvas lined wooden floor thing on wheels and it would be filled with inmate clothing and this one had uh, clean socks thankfully they were clean socks but then they also had it was a huge mongoose trash can that they would fill with inmate socks because when you get when you get, get, get dressed out you get no or everything you can't take nothing with you Back to the pod, you get new socks and new underwears and all that stuff. And the ladies get to keep their bra's ears as long as they don't have metal in them. It's a good reason to wear bras that don't have metal just in case you go to jail, you can keep your bra. Or at least that's the way it was in Cobb County way back in the 1900s. Anyway, they were like, didn't you get put in the sock barrel? I was like, how many times did I get put in the sock barrel? I mean, come on. I was the smallest one on the shift. You think they didn't pick me up and put me in the sock barrel? 
Yeah, they did. A lot. But they also put Michelle in the sock barrel. And Ron picked up Michelle and put her down in the barrel. And then he grabbed me and sat me in her lap in this barrel. Well, <laughs> I couldn't get out. Because I had no leverage. Because I was sitting on Michelle. And there was nothing to grab a hold of. And we were sinking in those socks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, there was lots of uh, screaming and laughing. And her trying to push me. And it's just good times. Good times at the jail. They were had by all. But what brought this up is a picture came up in my memories. Uh, someone <laughs> had taped <laughs> scotch tape all over my desk I mean you know like we had these little cubbies and they would start there and come down to my desk and they were making X's all it was everywhere anyway I put it on Facebook and I shared it and I blamed Nat and Nat said it wasn't him because that was for amateurs and that's true because Nat was not an amateur but then the actual sheriff that we had back in the day he said he's i'm friends with him on facebook and he said why didn't i know about any of this and i said well we didn't want to bother you sir <laughs> and he said well had you bothered me i would have told you how to get him back properly i said oh i knew how to get him back when i worked dispatch i'd just send them to lowndes county which is the furthest county south of where we are <laughs> to pick up inmates. I mean, if we had any ready. I would just send them to the furthest location to get them out of my hair. Don't mess with a dispatcher, baby. <laughs> I'm going in and check my mail. I'll be back. Okay, hi, I got some cards. So, the first one is from Jeannie Erickson. Oh, so cute. Just started watching you. Trying to occupy my time. I dearly enjoy your... You are a hoot. Merry Christmas. Oh, look at that. Isn't that so cute? Then when you open it, it's got the faces of the kit kitties on the inside. That is so pretty. Thank you, Jeannie. That's beautimous. Uh, the next one is Connie O'Brien. Oh, another pretty card. Peace on earth and goodwill to men. <laughs> Wishing you every little blessing at Christmas time. Merry Christmas, Connie. Look how pretty that is. I love Christmas cards. They're so pretty. Alrighty. And next we have Debbie Gibson. If I can get it out. <laughs> oh, so cute. Merry Grinchmas. May your Christmas be one that delights and amuses, and your New Year be one that says nice as the who's is. Love, Debbie. So cute. Who doesn't love the Grinch? Am I right? And finally, we have, oh, goodness, Mr. Glenn Karzuski. Did I say that right? Karzuski? It says, Tracy, Penny, and Gracie. Karzuski. I'm decently good at pronouncing names. I'm not great. Ooh, pretty card. Peace. May the peace and joy of Christmas be with you today and throughout the new year. Happy New Year. May your holidays be great. Sending lots of good wishes. Oh, Bella White, aka Janice Karzuski. Uh, Bella White. Bella White. That's who, who I'm used to seeing. I'm like, I don't remember seeing a Karzuski, but I am used to seeing Bella White. So, thank you, Bella. And that's from Indiana. Thank you so much for sending me cards. I love them. And now I'm going to go to the bank. My hair. Um, you can't drive with your reader. Oh! Can't drive with your readers on. Going to the eye doctor tomorrow to get my vision, you know, checked. You know. You know, you know, you know, you know. That thing they do, check your vision. And I'm going to get me some new glasses so that I don't have to wear these stupid readers on my head all the time. 
I'm tired of taking them on and putting them off and taking them on, taking them on, putting them on and taking them off. Did I say that whole thing backwards? I think I did. <laughs> I think I said the whole thing backwards, but that's fine. Y'all are used to me by now, but I'm excited to pick out new glasses. So anyway, okay, I think I've already said this, but I'm going to the bank and then I'm going to drop by my bosses and drop off something and then I'm going home and yeah I'll finish this up when I make sure of what I've got <laughs> okay bye hi here's Penelope and I here to finish off the video right Penelope <laughs> do you love me someone said yesterday when she was in my lap that she wanted a detention a de detention she wanted a detention this dog gets more attention than probably any dog. I mean, I do have to work, so she's not held all day while I'm working, but trust me, she gets a lot. Do you get a lot of attention? Hmm. Huh? Does mommy get in the floor and play with you every night and throw your toy and let you sit in her lap and give you kisses? Yeah, she gets a lot of attention. Mm-hmm. Alrighty, that's cool. All right, well, we'll ju we'll just end this one here. Remember, we love you. Jesus loves you. We hope he's coming home soon. Home soon? Lord have mercy. We hope he's coming back soon because people be crazy, and I ain't got a lick of sense. And I will talk to you on the next Tracy Tries, which will probably be tomorrow. Good Lord willing in the creek don't rise. Hit like, love, laugh, comment follow, do all the things, hit all the things and do all the things. And I will see you here. Same bat time, same bat channel. Maybe not the time because um, I do have a doctor's appointment at 315 for my eyes. So it might post early. I'm not sure or late. It depends on how it goes. <laughs> so anyway, okay, bye to you.